Journey to Sir Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the Tuesday's trading session, the 6th of December 2016. Okay, let's try and decipher exactly what's happened here this morning, folks. Stopped out on both my short positions this morning, so kind of frustrating. Okay, uh, I remain short on the CAC at the moment, so uh, this rally from yesterday, certainly not reading it, can't understand it either. Okay, very hard to uh, fathom and understand and comprehend. But we'll certainly try. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, data and numbers, let's do the crunching. Okay, let's just bring up these stats for you, folks. Okay, okay. So Asian session was mixed. Okay, we had the uh, Shanghai, China down 0.2%. Uh, you had the Nikkei up 0.4%, so certainly mixed. You U.S. markets yesterday, Nasdaq closed pretty impressively strong, but the uh, S&P certainly gave up some gains. Europe this morning, oh, overall net net strong, up FTSE up 10 points, the DAX up uh, 20 points, the CAC up 15, and the Euro stocks up by 0.4%. Uh, now, in terms of economic data this morning, we've had uh, stronger fa German factory orders. Uh, we've had U UK retail sales on the weaker side. Okay. Uh, Eurozone GDP numbers actually came in slightly stronger uh, on the year-on-year -year basis, but monthly came in in line. Okay, so nothing um, fantastic there. Okay, now the overall obviously bias remains sharp given the fact that you have uh, concerns with regards to Italian banks, uh, the potential um, bailout now or talk of bailout uh, with regards to shares in spread betting companies as well. Certainly down quite uh, prolifically this morning given the FCA crackdown. Uh, financials down on 30%, CMC and uh, IG index both down 30%. Now, Italy news that Interior Minister sees early elections comes from our career if confirmed would be negative for banks and the euro as well. So it's given the fact that Italy now is going back to the polls. Okay, so political uncertainty in Italy. France uncertainty reigns as well. That certainly is uh, active and uh, certainly isn't being factored into the markets at present. So from my understanding, bias certainly remains bearish and uh, certainly is on the short side. Let's just bring up the actual equities and have a look. Europe, Europe, 350 again. Topping tail yesterday, topping tail holding, diagonal trend line holding. Nothing really changed there. Bias remains short. German DAX 10 minute chart at the moment is double top intraday uh, and daily chart again. Like I said, nothing's changed there. Remains bearish. Okay. Let's move on to the French CAC. French CAC double top intraday again. Uh, 60 minute chart at the moment. This bull flag did actually eventually pay out. But we are now into resistance. So again, looking for a retracement back to that 4550 zone below. In terms of the FTSE 100, certainly has been um, stubborn. I did expect this breach and a break of this 46730, but we failed to transpire. And the market certainly has short squeeze ever since. Currently trading around the 6760, respecting the diagonal trend line. Okay. 10 minute chart at the moment, uh, respecting previous support equals resistance at 6770. And we'll see whether or not it can flush or potentially test that 6795 double top. Okay. Daily chart at the moment still remains vulnerable to this HS formation. So again, FTSE HS can be triggered at any time, folks. Okay. At any time. So certainly looking for bearish price action there too. Euro stocks, let's bring up the Euro stocks for you. Okay, Euro stocks again testing that double top. Has stopped me out, unfortunately, on my on Euro stocks shorts. We had a spike up to 3080. Okay, I wasn't expecting a spike as high as that. Maybe 3070, but not 3080. Currently has a bear flag on the euro stocks now, but bias remains bearish, given the fact that you have this bullish channel, certainly on the verge of breaking lower. This bear flag scenario is certainly sending the euro stocks lower. Okay, so again, double top, euro stocks, certainly not expecting any move, anything higher. Shanghai, as you already know, certainly has flushed quite hard, but European markets and US markets certainly not aligning with the weakness. So again, it certainly remains very interesting, something to keep an eye on and observe. Let's bring up the Nikkei. There we go, the Nikkei. Ever since we put our topping tail there, the Nikkei certainly remains bearish and the bias certainly is looking to potentially short. So my bias certainly remains short on the Asian markets and again, looking for that weakness to feed through into European markets. Now, German DAX certainly holding resistance, so I expect that to continue and looking for a potential move lower. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.